Hello and welcome to eMultiSkills video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we will learn what is vacuum and auto vacuum in PostgreSQL. So, uh, first of all, uh, let's see what is uh, vacuum in PostgreSQL. So, uh, uh, let's consider a situation wherein you have a table with uh, over a million of rows and your application continuously uh, updates and deletes the rows into the table. So let's say thousands of rows are getting uh, updated or deleted every hour. So uh, just to maintain the MVCC architecture in PostgreSQL, what it does it, let's say the thousand records has to be deleted due to the nature of the application. Then those thousand uh, rows are not getting deleted. What, what is done by the Postgre is uh, they are marked as the dead tuples. That means they still occupy uh, the space uh, into your table and the table size keeps on growing. That particular row is not uh, usable and it has no dependency. So those are marked as uh, dead tuples. So every hour, let's say thousands of rows are getting, getting, let's say, uh, piled up in your table. And uh, within 24 hours, let's say you have 24,000 rows, which keeps on accumulating. So Postgre came up with the process, which is called as vacuum, wherein those dead tuples, they will be cleaned up by a process, which is called as vacuum. So what is vacuum? Vacuum is used to free up the dead tuples into the tables. And uh, these uh, rows can be reused. So you can uh, use that rows later on. There may be an option also where in that uh, row can be returned back to the operating system. So let's see what is a vacuum at a glance. So what happens uh, uh, when you do the vacuum, which is a command uh, uh, on your uh, Postgre. So Postgre vacuum command will remove those uh, dead tuples or those uh, uh, rows which accumulated when they have been deleted or updated from the table and uh, they are valid both for table and the indexes because when you update your table or delete the data in your uh, table the corresponding indexes are also altered when you do the vacuum it is not going to return the uh, 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 unused storage to the operating system, but uh, those particular uh, uh, sp storage area, let's say this is marked as the tuple, uh, which is uh, which is has been deleted. This is no more usable. When you do the vacuum, uh, this will be returned back to the table, and this can be used. So when you do the vacuum, it it uh, takes the compute from your system it is going to take cpu it is going to use the io so this has to be done only when uh, your application activity is low and you have enough storage on your operating system you can do something called as vacuum full when you say vacuum full it is it is a process which takes lots of compute which is cpu and memory and it is going to return back the storage to the operating system so only when you say vacuum full this is going to return the uh, unusable storage to your uh, operating system but uh, this is a very uh, challenging task because when you do the vacuum full, it is going to log the table. That means it is a kind of, uh, of uh, complete down downtime for your application. You cannot do any operations. Even select operations are not allowed. Uh, when you do the vacuum full, it is going to create a new copy of the table so that those uh, dead tuples will be completely removed. So you, you need to have double the storage, which is a kind of challenging task in your production environment. This can be only done when you are going to refresh your entire system and consider this only if you have enough storage. So most of the time, this is not possible. So what happens when a table with millions of rows in a day and 24,000 rows are updated or deleted. The statistics of the table also gets changed. So instead of 1 million rows, there will be a minus 24,000 rows uh, uh, lesser in that 
table so when the uh, query execution happens and that table is part of the query then it is not going to have the current statistics so what you need to do after uh, after such activity where in the table is heavily uh, updated uh, then what you need to do i once you you have to do the vacuum so that uh, uh, the the unused uh, the dead tuples are removed and once the dead tuples are removed you have to update the statistics of the table using the analyze command so this will update the statistics and the latest statistics uh, or updated statistics are used for for the query during the execution plan and you, your query will uh, will uh, be able to execute in 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 uh, in a lesser uh, uh, time so when you do the analyze you you can do it uh, for the entire database if you think the fragmentation has uh, the ablation has happened so much so you do two things you do the vacuuming and you do the analyzing vacuum we do because a lot of dead tuples has uh, accumulated analyze you do because the corresponding tables and indexes uh, uh, what do you say the stats has also changed uh, Postray came up with the uh, with uh, what do you say the process which is called as auto vacuum so instead of you doing it manually vacuum postgre will do it on your behalf so by default uh, auto vacuum the 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 vacuuming and uh, analyze is happening automatically at the uh, database level so by default this is on in uh, in uh, postgre so you need to remember uh, some of the important parameters of the auto vacuuming. So auto vacuuming is when the vacuum is done automatically by the database. So by default it is on. So in postgresql.conf, if you say uh, uh, see uh, auto vacuum, this should be on. That means your auto vacuuming is uh, uh, working. Then there is an, another parameter which is known as log auto vacuum minimum duration. As the name suggests, log. So it is going to log the auto vacuuming activity when the value has been mentioned. If it is minus one, that means it is not going to log the activities. If you mention the value uh, greater than zero, then it is going to mention, uh, uh, capture what all uh, auto vacuuming it has done. Then another parameter is auto vacuum max workers. That means by default there will be one uh, auto vacuum process. So that is uh, 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 in case you have uh, n number of tables where this uh, vacuuming has to be done, then one worker will not be sufficient. So you need to increase the number of auto vacuuming workers. So by default it is three. So along with your uh, 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 auto vacuum process, there will be three more sub uh, workers which will do the vacuuming process. There is something called as auto vacuum nap time. So once the auto vacuum has launched for the first time and uh, it has finished its task, then after what time, after sleeping for how many minutes it is going to execute again. So it is going to execute again after one minute. Then we have another important parameter, which is auto vacuum vacuum threshold is equal to 50. If 50 rows have been updated on a particular table, then auto vacuuming is going to happen on that particular table. So vacuuming and analyzing, uh, uh, they work together. So once the vacuum has happened and uh, there is a updation of 50 rows on a table, then it is going to uh, uh, launch auto vacuum. So vacuum and analyze is going to happen on that. There is something called as auto vacuum vacuum scale factor equal to by default it is 0.2 that means if a table which has 100 rows and if 20% of the rows have modified or there is a change then uh, auto vacuum is going to launch and it is going to remove the TED tuples and it is going to update the statistics so vacuum and analyze is going to happen so auto vacuum analyze uh, scale factor equal to uh, 0.1 that means if a table which has uh, 100 rows and if 10 percent uh, that means 10 rows have uh, modified then the analyze command is going to uh, to execute on that 
and uh, similarly you have uh, auto vacuum vacuum cost delay that means the default cost value for the uh, auto vacuum this is 20 milliseconds and default vacuum cost limit uh, this is by default uh, minus one so now let's proceed with the demo so so I'm going to put this uh, in the comment section. So what is uh, vacuum, uh, then uh, uh, what is a manual vacuum command, uh, then what is uh, vacuum full command, and how do we check uh, whether uh, uh, vacuuming is enabled in my system or not, and then we'll, we'll see some of the parameters. So let's close this first. I'm going to close this out. Okay. I'm logged into the uh, mobile Xterm uh, uh, tool and uh, I'm connected to my database server which is 192.168.1.61 and I'm on the command prompt so I'll just say select name comma setting from pg underscore settings where name equal to auto vacuum so by default uh, this is on so this will show that auto vacuum is on and we discussed about the auto vacuum parameters uh, like uh, auto vacuum on this is by default uh, then uh, uh, when when uh, auto vacuum has to log all the activities if it is minus one it is disabled what is the maximum number of workers that should uh, launch uh, along with the master uh, auto vacuum process uh, then you have auto vacuum nap time for how many minutes it's going to sleep between the second execution. Then you have auto vacuum vacuum threshold. That means if 50 tuples have uh, accumulated or 50 uh, rows have updates uh, uh, minimum, then it is going to execute. Then you have uh, the analyze command is going to execute when there are changes in 50 rows. Then there is vacuum scale factor 20% 0 0.2 that means if there is a change in 20% of the data then vacuuming is going to happen on the table and similarly uh, analyze is going to happen if there is a change in just 10% of that uh, those were the important ones and uh, again that why Postgre creates vacuum it is just to maintain the MVCC architecture that those dead tuples keeps on accumulating after uh, deletes or update and and finally, we'll, we'll see, uh, let's list out the databases. If I switch to uh, DVD rental database, it will be like this. And if I do a vacuum process, vacuum verbose analyze. This is how do we do it. So you can see that it has, it is doing, although there are no dead tuples, so it is going to do it on the indexes and the tables, both. So you can see uh, if I fire this command, so this will show how many, so it is uh, select uh, REL name, uh, comma n underscore dead tuples from pg underscore states underscore user underscore tab table so this will show uh, the tables in my current database which is uh, uh, dvd rental so how many dead tuples are there if there are uh, dead tuples then you can vacuum it otherwise auto vacuum is going to happen uh, uh, automatically uh, you can check this storage utilized by by all the tables uh, let me do it this way uh, let's see the size of all the tables so rental uh, table has uh, this much of size and so on and so forth so if you are doing vacuum full it is going to take this much of storage again and this is like creating a new copy and deleting the old one and uh, you can see when the vacuum has last happened on this particular uh, uh, list of tables since we did it uh, right away so this is the current timing and uh, you can check um, this is the way you you check it so just a recap of uh, what we have done is
we checked uh, what is uh, vacuum uh, in PostgreSQL. A vacuum means it is it is just like uh, that tuples keeps on accumulating in a table when those are uh, deleted or updated. And uh, you have to either manually remove it or it is removed by something which is called as uh, auto vacuum uh, process. So vacuum is uh, nothing. It is uh, like the data tuples keeps on accumulating in your tables and indexes when the uh, the rel related data is uh, updated or deleted, and it ac accumulates uh, 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 in your table. And uh, this keeps on growing the size of the table unnecessarily, and the performance get decreased. So you have to remove those data tuples from the index and table using the vacuum command or, or auto vacuum does it uh, itself. If you say vacuum full, then you it, it is going to lock all the tables and it is going to use the double store. It is going to create a new table as well. So uh, we, we discussed about the plan updating the planner. So it is like uh, uh, in in auto stats in uh, auto vacuum uh, your vacuum and analyze uh, uh, work together so once uh, vacuum happens the corresponding uh, statistics of the table also changed let's say uh, in in a table with the 1 million rows uh, hundred thousands are updated daily then you have to update the statistics of the table as well using the analyze command or auto uh, auto vacuum does it uh, automatically then uh, we discussed about what is auto vacuum. So when vacuum happens automatically by the database, it is known as vac auto vacuum and by default it is on and there are some corresponding parameters uh, and the important ones are like uh, auto vacuum max workers and the nap time, etc. cetera. Uh, uh, what is vacuum threshold and vacuum analyze uh, uh, like 50% uh, uh, 50 rows are updated then uh, this auto vacuum is going to launch or uh, if 20% of the rows are updated or 10% of the rows are updated then analyze is going to uh, kick off and uh, finally we saw a very small demo you you do the uh, vacuuming uh, manually and uh, it works that way so i hope uh, this is going to give you a brief idea of how how this uh, auto vacuum is for working and uh, we'll see a uh, new uh, uh, property of uh, postgre in some other uh, tutorial uh, i hope it is going to help and uh, thanks for watching